everybody hates me until they need me. What professions are examples of this? When I was a janitor I got a lot of hate for knocking out my 8-hour day in for individual hour long chunks of effort. I was always available for spills and got extra work done every day, but spent another 4 hours basically chilling and management not once got on my case. The other employees despised this until a customer's colostomy bag somehow ruptured in the bathroom. From that day forward none of them gave a fuck if I was just hanging out on my phone. The US Coast Guard for fishermen and boaters. Usually there's a pretty good working relationship between them, but some hate the Coast Guard for the various inspections they do. But the USCG is also the ones who will come out there in a storm to rescue them. Plastic surgeons. My uncle is a plastic surgeon and he does only reconstructive stuff, fixing burn victims' faces and stuff like that. But when people ask him what kind of doctor he is and he says plastic surgeon, they usually kinda scoff. Lawyer here. The expectation that because you are a lawyer you know everything about every law everywhere. In reality most lawyers are highly specialized. IT, not the clown. Lawyers and mechanics. You want to have a good one of each, but you never want to have to call either of them. IT, except people hate me when they need me, too. Accounting. Lawyers lol. Edit might delete this comment in a bit, not used to getting a hundred notifications a minute lol. Appreciate the engagement though. Germany. Tow truck drivers. Dentists for sure. All the trades guys. They're so expensive. Until that plumber shows up at 2 a.m. to prevent the sewage backup. Or the electrician that fixes an overloaded breaker panel, preventing a fire. Or the carpenter who builds the room for your toddler so you can get some sleep and maybe some sexy time. Definitely tradesmen. I scrolled a long time and didn't find it. Fast food workers. They're the but of every demeaning comment about a lack of achievement or the reason why minimum wage shouldn't be raised blah blah blah. But those people get real quiet once they're ordering their Big Mac. Witches seem to have a lot of people talk trash about them, but when the village monster shows up. The guy's actually trying to contact you about your car's extended warranty. Lineman. Been called a lazy overpaid drug addict by old men I don't even know. God forbid we go grab lunch or a coffee. People are very quick to look down on people who work retail or in the food industry. People openly disrespect sanitary workers and even USPS and DMV workers, but our society couldn't function without any of them. Honestly though USPS and DMV workers are almost always rude and because the U.S. loves to make simple things complicated, all the stupid rules at both the places are almost physically painful, and if I had to deal with it for 40 hours a week I would probably be rude too. Lawyers Proctologist Truck drivers. Everyone is either scared or annoyed at us, but good luck buying anything without truckers. Criminal defense attorneys. Essential services during COVID, bunch of derps calling us heroes now back to shitting on us. Realtors. Everyone hates them until they dig up some serious dirt on a property and help you dodge a bullet. The caveat is the barrier to entry to become a realtor is way too low. Bad realtors are on every corner and can cost you big, but a good realtor is worth their weight in gold. Any IT job requiring break fix support. Basically when everything works it's good it's supposed to work and then when something goes wrong that's out of your control it's what did you do? When we did absolutely nothing to cause the problem ha ha. Insurance or tax people. Locksmiths or people in general who know how to pick locks or how they work. Dentist and when I need them I still hate them. Fast food workers. Everyone wants to shit on burger flippers until they have a 20-minute lunch break and don't know how to cook their own food. IT help desk. Child protection caseworker. People generally hate us and vilify us, but man when you need us you need us. 
Most people genuinely do not understand the work that we do I work in Australia and I have been chased out of houses with knives, punched, had abuse hurled at us, had my kids threatened the whole shebang but we never stop trying to keep kids safe. Contractors Journalism feels more and more like this. IT IT Therapists I'm a licensed therapist. Even in this comment thread someone called therapists glorified life coaches which couldn't be further from the truth. We are significantly more qualified. Everyone wants to shit on therapists until someone gets hurt or hurts themselves and suddenly mental health matters they should have had a therapist. Thanatologist, funeral workers really. Lawyer.